All right, guys, here's a six month review over the Losi Super Baja Ray 2.0. As you can see, there's some been modifications to it. We've got an aluminum bumper, valance, metal, metal front bumper on that. So we come to the back of this thing, put an aluminum guard for the whole back end. Tires have been slashed, been running it pretty hard. And then we get into the inside of it. Let's take this off. So the inside of it, shocks look pretty decently used and abused as you can see a lot of this stuff has been ran out pretty hard the motors pretty dirty as well you can see that here all those guys are up and then if you look at the front end of it we can see that the whole king suspension kind of went with a the blue theme this whole bumper has been modified definitely need that because this thing that plastic rubber one that they bring out or give to you that thing's shredded in a matter of one or two runs and that whole bumper just gets shredded to pieces as well so I went and upgraded that to get a metal bumper on this uh, aluminum valance that actually does a pretty good job on blocking a lot of things because this thing goes as you can see besides this rear end so I did put an aluminum uh, bracing in the back because this whole back end just drops on you all the time and then I just modified it as well here some just aluminum sheet metal. I'm gonna get this whole thing redone and all cleaned up and looking nice uh, with probably some uh, blue trail arms as well on this thing. Yeah, it needs, it definitely needs some trail arms and some lower control arms on this to modify a little bit better as well as um, probably a little bit heavier oil in the shocks because um, I have seen that it, it plays a lot. I do like the stance of this now and with the rear tail support and the extension of this all blue with the gold rims it does look pretty mean and vicious when it's running down the street and it whines it really whines as you can hear it right here Flipping this thing over, we can see that it has taken a beating on the bottom end of this thing. The only downfall that I do have with this thing is that this battery charger thing gets stuck all the time. And I'm like struggling with it all the time. What I've learned is if you push it down, it'll pull out somewhat easier. Let's see here. There it is. See? Boom. And then we got the two 8S batteries in there. That romp out pretty well. If you want to see its little competitor, we'll bring out the UDR here as well. The suspension has been so dirty and modified. And, uh, I do need to get some aluminum bars on this, aluminum trail arms, and some lower control arms as well. Definitely will help out. I'm gonna look at that front bumper again. All in all, this truck is a freaking tank and it runs very well. I've had no problems with it besides just the rear end. So we go ahead and throw the body back on. You can see how the back end here it allows now for uh, sand sand tires as well as the front end is definitely good clearance on that but the back end what I found out is that 
it pulls sometimes and when it pulls down it drops down into a lower end right here and that rubs all throughout the whole rear fender wall and it just definitely it takes a toll on the whole tire and takes a toll on the fender so i just ended up cutting them out when i was running around in the dirt too much So after that little bashing around and running around today, uh, I have no complaints in regards to the truck besides just, you know, this rear end that needs to be supported a little bit better. And I did that with that aluminum I've said in previous. And um, yeah, just get that modified as well as this front bumper here. Um, yeah, you're definitely gonna need to replace that because that's gonna just come off and I mean, it's, no fun when you have nothing to guard it underneath and then yeah i made this bumper um and i made that as well it's just this is an aluminum sheet uh one eighth inch thick it's not really a big deal um you can bend that yourself and drill it in uh, i welded this up and then put this on modified that up so that's a three eighths uh, metal bar and then this is just the straight same aluminum um, you guys can modify that at home or even buy them online eBay or Amazon uh, You can find them or hit me up. Maybe I can make one for you if you want I'm not the best at making a, that stuff, but you know it gets the job done um, Yeah, so all in all this truck is amazing I Have no downfalls. I know some people in the previous uh, YouTube channels have said that they've bashed it and broken a lot of things. I definitely abuse my trucks um, They are not just wall princesses Yeah, as you can see all this is Definitely messed up That's taken a beating even the light bars gotten a couple good things on knocks on it um, Yeah, so I really enjoy this truck um, at a price point at 899 definitely know that you're putting the money into it so enjoy it I really do so after this review my top five things that you would need to upgrade on this truck would be your front valance front bumper lower control arms and also another bash guard here and your trail arms and the main one would be this rear support. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe. I'll make some more videos of this thing jumping and hucking.